In a voice choked with emotion, Kurt Cobain's wife Courtney Love read parts of her late husband's suicide note to fans at a vigil on Sunday night in Seattle. I'm too much of an erratic, moody person and I don't have the passion anymore, Cobain wrote. Sometimes I feel as if I should have a punch in time clock before I walk on stage. He added, the fact is, I can't fool you, any one of you. It simply isn't fair to you or to me. We must warn you that parts of the following tape are difficult to understand and are very emotional. I'm not going to read you all the note because it's the end of the rest of your f business, but some of it is to you. I don't really think it takes away his dignity to read this, considering that it's addressed to most of you. He's such an ass. I haven't felt the excitement of listening to as well as creating music, along with really writing something for too many years now. I feel guilty beyond words about these things. For example, when we're backstage and the lights go out and the manic roar of the crowd begins, it doesn't affect me the way in which it did for Freddie Mercury, who seemed to love and relish in the love and adoration from the crowd. Well, Kurt, so f***ing what? Then don't be a rock star, you ass which is something I totally admire and envy. The fact is, I can't fool you, any one of you. It simply isn't fair to you or to me. The worst crime I can think of would be to pull people off by faking it, pretending as if I'm having 100% fun. No, Kurt, the worst crime I can think of is for you to just continue being a rock star when you hate it and just stop. Sometimes I feel as I should have a punch in time clock before I walk out on stage. I've tried everything within my power to appreciate it, and I do. God, believe me, I do, but it's not enough. I appreciate the fact that I and we have affected and entertained a lot of people. I must be one of those narcissists who only appreciate things when they're alone. I'm too sensitive. Oh. I need to be slightly numb in order to regain the enthusiasm I once had as our child. On our last three tours, I've had a much better appreciation of all the people I've known personally and as fans of our music, but I still can't get out the frustration, the guilt, or the empathy I have for everybody. There's good in all of us, and I simply love people too much. So why did not you just stay? So much that it makes me feel too sad. The sad, little, sensitive, unappreciative, Pisces, Jesus, man. Oh, shut up, Pastor. Why don't you just enjoy it? I don't know. But since the age of seven, I've become hateful towards all humans in general, only because it seems so easy for people to get along and have empathy. Empathy. Only because I love and feel for people too much, I guess. Thank you all from the pit of my burning, nauseous stomach for your letters and concern during the last years. I'm too much of an erratic, moody person, but I don't have the passion anymore. Peace, love, empathy, Kurt Cobain. Spokesman for Nirvana's record label, Geffen, said that Kurt Cobain will be cremated, but there won't be an official funeral. The band's management company, Gold Mountain, added that they wanted to avoid turning any public funeral service into, quote, some zoo-type thing. The Medical County Examiner's Office in Seattle said yesterday that its investigation into Cobain's death had reached, quote, nothing inconsistent with suicide. Fans in the band's hometown of Seattle and all across America have been contacting counselling services. And Seattle One Crisis Clinic says they have received hundreds of calls since last Friday. A man who attended Sunday night's public vigil fatally shot himself yesterday in what police are describing as an apparent reaction to Cobain's death. However, in Europe, the reaction doesn't appear to be quite so emotional. Crisis phone lines have not been deluged with calls, according to European-wide crisis organisations. However, several radio stations have been broadcasting tribute shows in which fans have spoken to counsellors for advice. And that's it for tonight's News at Night. On tomorrow's show and our Wednesday cult feature, we speak to the cult hero your parents can understand. He's clean living, clean shaven, and he's a country superstar. His name is Garth Brooks. Hi, I'm Garth Brooks. I <laughs> know right now you're probably saying, what in the heck's a Garth Brooks? <laughs>